What's happening, everybody? Long time no see. Hey, it's Friday morning. It's time for another Thrifty Business Thrift Hall with Jay and A. Everyone, host Vegas Jay. And I'm Philly Nay. Hi, everybody. So look, the lower thirds are back. Hey, Nay, if you go over to your left side of your uh, screen, you'll see a new hangout toolbox. It is a green circle with a white toolbox in it. That's where the lower third is. Oh. Wow. Okay, so. So we get to have our lower thirds back, and we get to do the, the overtop graphics. So well, that's our cool. show will be back to looking way more professional than it has been. Yay. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, Nate, I noticed it last night, but I forgot to click. I didn't know what it was. I'm like, oh, what's well, that new little icon in our screen? So. Cool. So there we go. We are back. Okay. That way you don't get confused on who is Jay and who is Nay. <laughs> Cause that was a problem, right, Funny. everybody? <laughs> oh yeah, that's a big problem. Okay. <laughs> All right, so hey, here it is. We have done a thrift haul in a little while. I have not done a ton of thrifting, but I did uh, hit a couple stores. I got some good things, and I hit the uh, the the granddaddy mother load of um, tiki mugs at a garage sale. So I have pictures. I'll show you towards the end. I can't show you. I mean. I could show you all 77 mugs, but that would be a ridiculously long haul. And plus, I would say half the mugs aren't all that exciting, but I did bring up a couple examples of what I wanted to show you. And uh, I do have the pictures to show you. So, of uh, uh, all of it. So, let's get right into it, shall we, Nadine? Sure. Uh, I did show this last night. <clears throat> In case you didn't see Thrifty Business with JNA last night, why not? Go back and watch it, please. But I did buy this dress <clears throat> way outside my comfort zone. I do pretty well with Hawaiian dresses, uh, but uh, this is an Asian dress that, man, it, the quality of it is insanely amazing. It's got with these little, I don't know, doodads on the on the shoulders there. Um, matching matching blue zipper. So it's a really nice dress. It's oh, fully lined, mm -hmm. but there are no tags anywhere. I mean, it looks, it, it definitely doesn't look homemade, Nay, but I mean... To have not a tag anywhere. Well, somebody might have removed not. the tags too. That happened. Yeah, but I don't even see where they could be. So, mm -hmm. but it's pretty bitching. It was ten bucks. I was gonna get it anyway, and then when I got to the counter, they're like, "Oh, that's on sale today. It's five dollars." I'm like, "Woo!" Cool. <laughs> Woo! I'm, I'm not gonna toss that nice dress over my shoulder like I normally do because that's a nice dress. And then if you watch my uh, eight videos, you saw this already. But for those of you who don't. I want to show you there is always good money to be made in the robe section of all places, both men's and women's. And what you're looking for is exotic locales like robes from resorts or even fancy resorts like the Bellagio here in mm -hmm. Vegas or fancy spas. And for those of you who don't know, the Hotel Del, Del Coronado is one of the most famous hotels probably in the United States. If you Google it and look it up, you'll be like, oh, I know that hotel. If you ever saw the movie Some Like It Hot, with uh, Meryl Monroe, that's where it was filmed at the Hotel Del Coronado there towards the end. And uh, so this was uh, three bucks. It is, even though it doesn't look soft, it's really soft. And uh, I didn't see any online, but I'll probably put it up for 40 bucks. Cool. I'm gonna save that for a little bit. Uh, let's talk rock and roll shirts, Nadine, shall we? Sure. Let's see if you know all these artists, all right? Let's play a game. Does Nadine know all these artists oh we're gonna okay. all right here's, all right put me on the spot go ahead here's number one ready do you know this artist uh, yeah <laughs> i would hope so so i did pay a little bit more for this t-shirt than i normally would but it's still new with tags and it's an official sun shirt oh, okay so uh i paid i paid seven bucks for it girl i have no problem selling this nice brand new t-shirt so that one also i will not chuck over my shoulder because i want to keep it new all right you ready for number two i'm ready oh Oops. my favorite band <laughs> yes that's my no, all-time favorite those things, band <laughs> this is one of those things where when you see what not talking elvis we're talking from this on when you see one item that goes uh, i mean two items that go together keep looking and then you find a third keep looking and then you might find a fourth a fifth a sixth so this was some, but some poor son or husband's rock t-shirt collection got thrown out or donated, I should say. So this was number one, which Nadine knows because she hates ACDC. Mm -hmm. Don't, don't, don't kill her people. Don't kill her. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry. Just not my thing. <laughs> this was, this is number two. 
Do you know them? Avenged Sevenfold. Yeah, I've heard of the band. I don't. I can't like name a song, but I, I've heard of the band. So this was number two. These were all three dollar shirts. Cool. This was number three. Oops, this way. So, oh, Slipknot, of course. Duh. Yes. Now the one thing I wasn't even thinking of, I gotta check. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, yeah. So the the bass player um, passed away uh, a while back, and uh, this is the shirt with him on it. So uh, sad as it is, I will use that as a selling point. So mm -hmm. it's a, a vintage Slipknot shirt. And then this was the last one. Oh, S Slayer! Yes, I know. I know of Slayer. So. It, not a tour shirt, but look at that image. The image is great. Another not such one of my favorite bands. <laughs> yes, not but, a Slayer I mean, fan. The images are great because it'll be easy to talk about that shirt. So uh, all good. Uh, yeah, I, I know. People are like, how does she hate ACDC? <laughs> yeah, no, not my thing. Uh-uh. But, you know, when you have rock shirts, the band will sell it alone, but there'll be a lot of Slayer uh, shirts on eBay. Mm -hmm. But, you know, the skulls with the flames and the pentagram and the sword, you know, it's all the imagery you can pull out. Mm -hmm. And you you definitely can make it sound, excuse me, way more awesome than it is. It's just a Slayer shirt, but I'll make it sound kick ass in the title. Mm -hmm. So that's, so I that's also good. hate chocolate. So now everybody in the, in the chat can just hate me. <laughs> Oh, well, the next thing I threw to was a bar of chocolate. No, <laughs> I know, I hate, I hate AC. <laughs> and ACDC, for, to me, it's like the, the, the voice and the, the whoever that lead singer. Who's the lead singer? I don't know. Well, it depends. Which one? There's been two. Well, I don't know. It's like now. nails on a chalkboard. I can't listen. Like, if it's on, I have to I have to get away from it. Like, it's it, it just, that's You're how I You're probably thinking Brian Johnson, who's the, you know, like a back in black lead singer. Yeah. Oh, uh, cool. Axel, yeah. Nails on a top. Axel Rose. Axel Rose is the current lead singer, oddly enough. <laughs> oh, yeah. But I do like some of the old Guns and Roses stuff. But. Okay. So then you might tolerate. Mm. <laughs> you might I don't know. I don't know. ACDC nowadays. And then Bon Scott was the first singer and he choked to death on his own puke. So there you go. There's oh, fun nice. little side stories. Yeah, That's there lovely. you go. All right. So I teased this yeah, in all the, the you know, the show and, and the tease yesterday. Um, these used to sell a little bit better, but they're still a solid seller. And so when I said, you know, you, you when you find two of something and then you look for three and you keep looking until you've exhausted all. So I'm with some friends of the show, uh, Brenda and Jerry, and uh, we're out thrifting, and they picked the wrong side of the t-shirt rack to work on. I was on the other side. What the hell? Oh, there we go. And so oh. I picked up this un... Go ahead. <laughs> it's Apple, but is it on, on not Apple Apple? No, it's the Apple employee shirt. Okay. It is unworn. And so there, here's, here it is in green. And then I also picked it up in blue with a, and this one's got texture to it. This green one's just straight up t-shirt. Nice. And then I noticed that there was a red one. Oh my and gosh. so while Jerry and Brenda are on the other side picking, I'm on my side, just killing it with Apple shirts. Wow. That's crazy. <laughs> Those are going to do well. These uh these were two dollars each. And what do you think and, they'll sell for? Well, we we the good you know they're about a twenty dollar shirt, but the the blue and the red are the same shirt, just different colors, so easy to to do multi variation with size and color. And then the green is like I said, it's a different texture, so I'm not going to throw that in there. And plus the apples offset, but I'll put them up twenty bucks. Boom, 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 boom. One listing will cover all the reds and and uh, blues. And that, and they're almost all extra large. There's a couple larges, but they're all extra wow, large. Wow, that's great. Yeah. So easy to sell. Apple fans will love them. <clears throat> Quick 20 bucks, but I think I got 17 or 18. So, you know, 20 bucks times 18, and it's mm -hmm. easy. Two listings to knock out 18 things okay. that'll sell pretty easily. Uh, Lou? All right. You, sorry, you are up. Oh, I'm up. Okay. All righty. So let's see what I have here. Um, oh, I've got some more yarn. This is um, Italian tweed yarn. 
which is um, it's it's new wool. It's it's alpaca viscose and wool. So, and I've got a bag of it. That's what was uh, two ninety nine. I pulled a lot from my storage unit this time. So. Um, then I have this clean looking tank top. It doesn't look like much, right? Just a kind of boring striped tank top. But yeah. if you look in the back, you'll see the uh, the logo here. Can anybody see that? You know what that is, Jay? Uh, bring it a little closer. Uh, oh, it's um, Lululemon. Yes, very good. Okay, you got it. So I paid um, one ninety nine for that, and <laughs> I should uh, be able to get um, probably at least thirty for it because of the brand. Those people are so dedicated to that brand. I personally am not, but hey, I'll sell it because other people are. <laughs> hey. <laughs> so I found him wedding um, patterns, and uh, this is kind of a costume, but also wedding. Pa wedding patterns do sell very well, especially at this time of the year. So I'm going to put this one up for probably $19.99 with best offer. It's a nice one. Um, and then I have a Vogue basic design here. This should probably go for about $15. Another a little Vogue, baby, Vogue, baby Vogue, Vogue. Vogue. This should go for about fifteen too. Baby Vogue, Vogue, Vogue. Vogue. Oh, 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 Jason. And then <laughs> I have this beautiful sweater here. That is a great brand. See this sweater? It's it's absolutely gorgeous. It's a long sweater, and the brand is called Sleeping on Snow, and that is an anthropology brand. And I'm gonna try for like ninety nine ninety nine with best offer on. This Wait, one. what's the brand? It's Sleeping on Snow. It's an anthropology brand. Sleeping on Snow. Yeah, I've never heard of it. Oh yeah, it's an anthro brand. And then this is also an anthro um, brand. It's called Mave M A E V E, um, and it's just a plain kind of summer sheer top that. Um, there's the tag. It's a size four, so it's a, a smaller size, but that's okay. Um, and it is anthropology, so I can use that in the keywords, and it was $2.99. So I'll be getting that one listed, too. And let's see. Oh, I wanted to ask you about this one, Jason. So this one is... Yo, what you got? What I what do I have? I have a handmade what you dress. Got? What you got? What you what you what you I got? I have a handmade dress. This dress is completely handmade. And by the way, it does fit me perfectly. But... <laughs> Um, it's handmade. Um, I think it's I think it's kind of got a Hawaiian vibe though. Can you see the print? Mm, ish. Ish, yeah. And it's got like it's got like this. Um, if you can see it, it's like an kind of. Um, there's a print on here too that looks almost like kind of Hawaiian-ish. It's it's just kind of so it's ish, yeah. But it's a cute dress, so and it's handmade completely. So I don't know. Um, and then and I paid a uh, three ninety nine for that one. And I I mean if I sold it I could probably get about thirty, but I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet. Oh, and here's a plus size swimsuit top, which is really cute. And I should be able oh, to get very cute. yeah I should be able to get like twenty four ninety nine for this. The brand is like. Some it, the brand is completely inconsequential in this. Um, in fact, the, oh, it's it figures. I don't even know that brand. It doesn't matter. So I'm not going to lead with the brand on this. I'm gonna. It'll be. Um, it's a cute little plus sized uh, bikini, you know, tankini top. So that should do really well. And I paid two ninety nine, especially this time of year. Look for those. Look for the swim the swimwear. Um, if people are buying it. And then this is called Cut From The Cloth, which is a great selling brand. You can see that. So this shirt should sell for probably between $25 and $30, and I paid $2.99. And then, um, okay, so I teased this. This is a vest that I teased in, the, in uh, I think, last week. Looks just like a plain women's um, vest, but the brand is Ar Artista, Arista. And it is an equestrian brand. So this is actually an equestrian vest um, that someone would wear, um, you know, in, in one of their equestrian dressage um, outfits. You know, when they're when they're actually competing 
um, in an equestrian event. So these actually sell for really, this brand sells for some pretty high prices. I'm not sure exactly how much I'm going to get for this vest, but I'm thinking probably at least $50. It's got like the mesh inside and it's meant for, um, you know, for equestrian events. It's, it's great. So, so there's that. Equestrian. And fancy I got clothes. some, oh, Betsy Johnson chair tights. Uh, I think a dollar, and they should. Chair I should tights. be able to get. I should probably get like twenty to twenty-five dollars for them. So, and then I'll do one more before I turn it back over to you, Jason, because you'll like this one. Cool, I think. cool. I think this is Yankee Candle. Oh, cool. Oh, oh, oh! Then you paid attention. You're just kind of like not looking, and then I say Yankee Candle, and it's like squirrel. Um, so yeah, that's a bad What are you talking about? You're not. Yeah, women's clothing. Eh. Arista, Arista equestrian uh, top, uh, Yankee candle. Okay, what else did I show? Sleeping in the snow. What else do you want me to tell you? In the snow. <laughs> Cut from the same on. cloth. No, no you got tank, the brands all wrong. <laughs> I'm close. You're kind of close. All right, so this is. Hey, a, what size are those tights? Shelly wants to know. They're small, medium. So this, uh, by the way, by, by the way, mm -hmm. everything you see is for sale. Yes. I always forget to say that. So if a Slayer shirt or a snowman, a Yankee candle, a tart warmer thingy, uh, floats your boat, we'll be more than happy to cut you a deal. Just hit message us after the show. Okay. So uh, Shelly said not when competing, but when practicing to the vest. Okay. So maybe. Go. All right. So I'm not a, an equestrian, um, expert, so I was wrong on that, but still pretty cool. So, um, here is this awesome snowman, and it comes with four um, tea light candles. It's brand new, and I think it was three ninety nine. So, and I think it'll sell for uh, twenty five to thirty dollars. So, you like that, Jason? I do like that. Mm, okay. Yeah. I've never seen that. I mean, now that I know every single Yankee candle. Yeah, thing, it was yeah, just in my goodwill, that. and it was. So, um, do you want to take it over? I have. I do have some more stuff sure, here. Yeah. So. All right. Oh, I guess I should have done this on the last go around. Uh, if you're not familiar with this this record label, Fat Records, it's uh, it's the home to a ton of punk bands, uh, and its its uh, CEO is Fat Mike. He's the bass player for a punk band named No Effects, and mm -hmm. so a lot, a lot, a lot of punk bands are on this label. So it, it's just a shirt for the label, but even that will sell. So we talked about shirts for specific bands, which I just showed. But even cool record label t-shirts will sell too. This is definitely, you know, it'll sell to the Hot Topic uh, Warp Tour crowd for mm -hmm. sure. Cool. Now I've forgotten, and I'm sure someone in the chat will let me know. But uh, you know, use your friends when uh, you find something uh, that is a little bit outside of your norm. So, like, obviously, people message me all day long. Is this tiki? <laughs> but I am not a Doctor Who geek. But I know Margaret Collier is, so I sent her this picture, and right away she's like, oh, that's the sixth Doctor Who and whatever his name is. Yeah. So I wrote it down. But I always pick up Doctor Who stuff because I know, I know, I know there's a rabid fan base, and the key to selling Doctor Who stuff, obviously, is to make sure uh, you you mention which Doctor Who it is because there's been a bunch. It's kind of like James Bond. There's been like, you know, eight James Bond. So mention who it is because you're also hoping – for the fans of that specific Doctor Who. And this right. is on a Doctor Who brand t-shirt. What do we got here? Oh, this is pretty cool. Uh, I, uh, I was very excited to find this and more excited than Nadine that I can't find it anywhere. Like no one's selling it. So a crew thing. And it is a, a hoodie sweatshirt in great shape for the 50th uh, anniversary of Days of Our Lives. Oh, wow. That's pretty cool. Yeah. So <laughs> I searched eBay. I searched WorthPoint. No one's had one. Uh, so to find one at a thrift store for $4.99, I was very, very excited. I wish it was a little more exciting. That's the only thing on the whole hoodie. But the hoodie's in great, great shape, like maybe unworn. Wow. So just in case there's any uh, <clears throat> Days of Our Lives fans, before you even ask, it is a medium. Now, one thing I want to point out for selling purposes, this is a sport tech sweatshirt. You know what that means? Nada. No one cares. Don't even put it in your title. No one is looking for sport tech hoodies. Right. 
but they are looking for days of our lives, mm -hmm. you know, merchandise. So that's what you want to do. So don't waste your space because it doesn't matter. It's just, it's companies that make, um, that make shirts and sweatshirts. So then other people can brand on them. Yes. All right. Let's see, does it say it on here? Nope. Okay. Tell me what this shirt is and who these people are. You ready? Mm -hmm. You ready? I'm ready. Oh God. Um, is that like Cinderella or something? Nope. Is it? I don't know. Um, Who's that? Hmm. Who's that? Is that David Bowie? That is very much the Bowie. Okay. And that is Jennifer Connelly. She's okay. An actress. And what movie are they in together? Oh, I would have no idea. The chat knows Labyrinth. Ooh, why'd oh. I go so blurry? Never heard of it. Hello. Yeah, you're You've never heard of Labyrinth? No, I've never oh. heard of Labyrinth. Oh, we have to get you to watch Labyrinth. That was part of my childhood. Oh my God, I love Labyrinth. Okay. And I know this will be a popular shirt. That is a large. Okay, can I say something else that, uh, that the chat's gonna say? <gasps> Not a David Bowie fan. That's it, show's mm -hmm. over. Yeah, ACDC is that... one thing. <laughs> Bowie is something di totally different. Oh man, I mean, I feel bad. I feel awful that he passed away, but never a fan. All right, let me show two more things. And I'll toss it back to you. Now, uh, <clears throat> I was wearing uh, this. This is a fine rum that goes well in tiki drinks. Coxpur fine rum, and uh, if you watch my tiki webinar, you, you know I talked about rums um, as part of the whole tiki culture. If you didn't catch my webinar, I'm going to talk about it in a little bit. But I do buy all rum things to resell. Now, a lot of times you'll find very plain like Captain Morgan shirts, Bacardi rum shirts. So what I do is I have a tub in my bedroom and I just keep tossing stuff in there. And then when it's full, I'm like, oh, here's a Bacardi t-shirt. Here's a Bacardi set of coasters. Here's a Bacardi uh, koozie. And then I make little like gift packs. But I do try and now focus on the, the more fun or the ones that are a little better than the plain. And so mm -hmm. this Captain Morgan shirt definitely fit that bill because that's pretty sweet little tie-dye action there. And I will still pair other things with it, but this is a nice look and it'll definitely stick out. I only paid a buck for this shirt, uh, a buck and a quarter actually. Okay. And uh, I'll find a couple other Captain things. Even though that's your, fa that's, that's your very favorite rum, I know. So. Is that sarcasm? Yes, that's sarcasm. Very good. Oh, you didn't have that drippiness of sarcasm at the end. It was almost like, I'm like, is she thinking this is Sailor Jerry? <laughs> no, I just know how much you absolutely love Captain Morgan. I think you like uh, Malibu a little better, but um. Okay, now I know. Now I hear mm. the sarcasm just fine. <laughs> so if you and had a Malibu the, shirt, that would be even better. But here's the best shirt I thrifted in a long time. You ready? Oh, cool! Wow, that was. But wait, <laughs> but wait it gets better. Ta-da! <laughs> uh, that's awesome. So, uh, it don't fit me, but we'll put it in somebody at eBay Open this year and see if we can get them to direct people into the wrong room or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Well, I, I'm, I'm the event staff and then turn around. You must listen to me. No, no. As, as, as 2,000 people are going in one door, we're going to send like four people to some other door. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jason. Uh, shenanigans with Jason. All right, what you got? All right, so I teased this this cute little owl last night. He's cute, isn't he? Look at him. He's a kind of reminds me of the owl I was getting asking for help the other day. So um, the brand, and you know this brand, Jason. I know you do. The brand is Jelly Cat. Yep. And it's a UK brand, and it's it sells very well. It's a hang sale. on, hang on. I gotta sing. Jelly Cat, Jelly oh, Cat. Come on. What yeah, right. Not you... Smelly Cat from Friends. I know. It was my parody version, Jelly Cat. No, and I knew that that was uh, Phoebe's. Uh, yes. See, I knew that. See? I'm Very good. Thank I'm, you. I'm thoroughly. Yeah, so it says Jelly Cat London. So look for this brand. It is a sought out brand. Um, it, it was new with tags, but I accidentally ripped the tags off of it. So I'll just sell it as new. Accidentally? <laughs> Yeah, so I'll just sell it. Whoops. Well, the Goodwill tag was attached to it, and I didn't realize that that was actually the tag. I thought that the Goodwill had tagged it, but they put it the, their tag over the the actual hang tag, so I ripped that off, and then I realized that the sticker was over it. So I'll just sell it as new without tags, and I'll just include, include the tags. Because, no, I do not have one of those doodads that you can um, – that you can uh, tag with. So. Oh, you, you should. Yeah, I know, but – 
Eh, never bought one. So, and this is Crabtree and Evelyn. I tease this too. Crabtree and Evelyn does discontinue scents. This is Wisteria. And I'm not sure if this is one of the ones that is discontinued, but it does sell well. These sets always sell well. Crabtree sells well, especially the discontinued ones. So I paid $1.99 for this, and I haven't looked this up, but I expect that I'll probably be able to get um, maybe up to $30 for it. So, and What's up? What was the scent name? It's Wisteria, Crabtree, and Evelyn. It's got body lotion, bath and shower gel, and hand care um, lotion. So. And let's see what else I have here. Ooh, I've got something sexy. So I have this sexy, um, this sexy little sheer. Yeah, that's very sexy. And the good thing is the brand is also it's it's um it's sexy little things by Victoria's Secret. It's oh, a size sexy little thing. It's a size thirty six C. So it's a it's a kind of common size. So and it's in perfect shape. Like it, it looks like it's brand new. So I will be uh, definitely asking like probably like thirty dollars for this. So and I paid I think two ninety nine. But a lot of this stuff came from my storage unit. So I'm having a little trouble remembering prices. I have um, I think eight eight of these. It's now this is chunky um, wool and polyester. Chunky monkey. <laughs> wool and polyester is called tussock, and uh, the, a lot of this, a lot meaning, um, like I think I have eight to ten, eight to ten of these should sell for about fifty dollars. So not bad. And then, nice. Yeah. So I love my yarn, and oh, I found this. This is a. This is a. Um, oh, look at this. So I haven't looked this particular design up yet. But vintage trapper keeper sell wow. very well, and that I found awesome. I found this vintage '80s trapper trapper keeper, and uh, it's got, it's got some scratches and stuff on it. I think I can clean it up a little. Still got a loose leaf piece of paper that somebody left behind. Um, look at the inside of it. So I think this might do pretty well. Uh, those do quite well. Yeah, I know they do. I saw. I've, it's always like something that's on my bolo list, and I haven't found one yet. But I found that one. I was like, ooh, gotta get it. So I have to look that up and see how well it's going to do. Um, and then I have, um, this is a 2015 Walt Disney World commemorative um, fanny pack bag. So I think it might do pretty well. It was $2.99. It's a fanny pack? Oh, yeah, it is a fanny pack. It is a fanny pack, yes. Now, I, hey, I'm going to Disney World in the fall. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy that and rock the fanny pack. Are you kidding me? Oh, you would, would too. Be, oh, I so would. It's okay. not blatantly. It's not blingy enough. Oh, you could probably bling it up a little. <laughs> I'll trade it for the dress if you want to. Uh, or maybe I will. That would be okay. funny. I wore a Stacy would lose her mind. <laughs> <laughs> you could bling it out. You could like, yes. you know, put some Everyone, don't tell Stacy. I'm gonna show up on day one at the park with my fanny pack on. <laughs> All right. Well well we can we can talk about trading for that dress that I want. So All right. So uh, I shouldn't I'll you. show one more thing and then I'll turn it over to you. Right. Dog bingo. Dog bingo. Oh, there's yeah. a pug. And it's and it's new and it's this is a UK brand. It has a twenty nine ninety five sticker on it. But it's selling for um it's selling for oh my cat just knocked a bunch of stuff over. Ow. Oh, come on. Sorry, my, that was my cat. Uh so it's selling for about uh thirty dollars or so. So um, and it's and a lot of them are selling from the UK. I haven't seen any US uh, completed, so that's a good thing for me because their shipping is higher. And so I have a U. I have one right here in the US that's going to be shipped from the US. So somebody would probably buy mine over one of all the ones that are because most of them are listed from the UK. Oh wait, wait is is it uh, where what um, where's the company based that made that game? Is it UK? Um, yes, it is London. Mm -hmm. That, that's why you're seeing all of them, but that's cool. That's the ones over here. Yeah, exactly. So somebody probably bought it over there. And... Uh, Tra Tracy's interested in your dog bingo. She's going to message you. Oh, okay, Tracy. I'll, I think I'll, we uh... got a good bingo right there. <laughs> <laughs> so let's, uh, let's, yeah, I'll uh, cut you a deal with, uh, let's talk about it. Cool. All right. So do you know what tipsy elves is, Nadine? Uh, elves that are drunk? Well, yes, but it's a, it's a company. It's a brand. Okay. <laughs> you know, I, I know you've probably never seen it, but you, do you know the show Shark Tank? I've heard of it. So people come on, they pitch their companies. They say, if you will invest half a million dollars, I'll give you like a quarter of the company. 
And so one of the most successful ones was Tipsy Elves. They made, they're one of the ones that started making the ugly Christmas sweaters. And then they went to the ugly Hanukkah sweaters. Then they went to everything, pajamas, this, that, and the other. And they, they are, uh, their, their company's doing hundreds of millions of dollars now from being out in that show. And new with tags, men's one piece hooded stars and stripes pajamas. Whoa. Yeah, and oddly enough, the hood goes all the way up. So I guess if you want to be like in a cocoon, you can. But yeah, still new with tags. So here's the brand. If you don't know Tipsy Elves, keep it. Now, although they sell a lot, I've never seen the stuff, in this, especially the pajamas in the store. So, uh, and big zipper pulls, very cool stuff. So uh, if this was my size, I would be wearing it to my uh, neighbor's Memorial Day party. And I'd sweat my, I would sweat my balls all day just to go for the joke all day. But unfortunately, it's just a large, so. Okay. Uh, and then that's the logo, Tipsy Elves. Cool. So keep your eyes peeled for Tipsy Never Elves, anything. Because you'll find it in the sweater section, men's and women's. You'll find it in the pajamas. Oh, I almost knocked my light down. Oops. Uh, and then, you know, the joys of using a third-party lister, and what I mean is Inkfrog. Inkfrog lets me do all my listings, keep them there. I can go back and retrieve mm -hmm. them. Me, and me all, all 102 of you watching. Uh, so sometimes, and a lot of times, we find something we've already sold in the past. So it's nice to have the listing ready to go. Just make sure that the listing is current with shipping prices and stuff like that. But I've sold this shirt once before, and I found two of them uh, sitting next to each other in different sizes. UNLV, uh, obviously, is the local college here. And it's a UN UNLV Running Rebels Hawaiian shirt. Very cool. And I paid five bucks each, and they sell for 25, 30 bucks. But what's nice is there's no work involved because all I got to do is go in there, make sure the size is right, and click launch again. All the work mm -hmm. is already done for me. So I got two. Yeah, of them. that is nice when you're when you have a listing. There. And I just noticed as I toss it over my head, the uh, dry cleaning tags on it. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And then this brand uh, does pretty well. Far Horizons is an Australian. Uh, sweater brand. If any of you saw my post from like two weeks ago, I have one that has like a city scene on it. And we were trying to figure out what city it is. It kind of looked like London, but the brand's Australian. But they kind of have a, a Cosby sweater, Notorious B.I.G. sweater feel to them. So here's this one. Oh, that is fantastic. Holy crap. Like that? Oh, yeah, that is awesome. That's just beyond. Yeah, so this was Let's... nine... <laughs> This that is just, bucks, that's one of those things I, that is so ugly that it's just, it's just awesome. Oh, it's yeah. just, yeah. It crosses so we, the ugly line and then comes for. out as just, what's that? Oh, I would think list, I should list it for. I would list that for like $200 maybe. I don't know if we're going to quite command the, the Kuji prices, but it, it's good. I don't it's know. I don't know. The so. print is, it's just fantastic. I don't know. I would go high with best offer on that one. Now, I showed it on a haul, I think our last haul, Nadine, maybe the haul before. I bought a hat that had um, uh, Panavision, had the camera that yeah, we used to that. film movies yeah. with. And it sold right away for 30 bucks. So uh, this this uh, this is geared towards the, the geeks, the geeks who like cameras and stuff. Mm -hmm. So Panavision is kind of an older thing. This is kind of a modern thing. And this is a URSA Mini Pro camera. Wow. And so it came, uh, it came from, uh, I think a convention or something, but nerds who like this camera will buy it. So I can't find any t-shirts with this camera on it. The camera sells itself very well on eBay. So I paid like two or three bucks for this. I'll probably get 30, $35 for it. Oh, the brand on the ugly shirt was uh, far horizons out of Australia. Okay. And then, you know, uh, you are seeing old, I mean, Anytime you ask about an age of a piece of clothing, please post the tag because you know immediately when you see that it's an old jacket. Oh, yeah, definitely. That that so, so does not yeah. scream 2017. Uh, no, no, is, no. It's, it's, I, I think it's two unions, I think. I haven't looked it up. But all I know is it's something to do with building Boeing 747s, and it's a vintage windbreaker. That's awesome. So, 70s, I, I'm know, thinking. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, so even without doing any research, it was like four bucks. Uh, it's a very light, but it's in great shape. Um, uh, Kill it. Somebody in the in the chat says sixties. It could be sixties. 
Well, the tag says since 19. Oh, oh, oh that says 1871. I misread that. Yeah, yeah I think you're so, right on the 60s. So it might be 60s. Yeah. Yeah, then it is probably 60s or early early 70s at the latest yeah so uh so yeah keep your eyes open for i love i love i love i love vintage uh windbreakers especially when uh it has aviation stuff in it because people love 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 that stuff mm -hmm, all right what you absolutely. got absolutely okay so i have now this brand isn't that great but these shoes are just they're just awesome they're um they're vintage. Um, they're Chico's. But look at the look at them. Look at the and then they've got these cute little wedge heels. So I am thinking that these will do pretty well. They're they might actually be my size. They're they're a larger size. I don't see a size in them, so I will measure them and I will try them on for oh here they are. Wait a minute. It's um All right. oh they're tens. Looking, they're tens. They are my size actually. There you go. <laughs> so but I'm not keeping hey. them, I will be selling them. They're very cute. Hang on, I'm, I'm putting myself back up. I mean, okay. I'm putting myself. I just became okay, Irish. Okay, you just second. interrupted. Somebody my... wanted to see the tag again, so okay. I'm showing the tag. Sir Jack since 1871, but cool. the the brand isn't important. But I will put in the title because people will know it's yeah. a brand. The brand isn't important. What's important is whatever all this is back here. That's what's going to be important. Right. So I have this cute, adorable little. Um, clock from and i don't use this is the first clock i've ever bought so but it's Wait a, a hand this is the first at 40 years old it's the first clock well, the first bought? clock to, for resale that i've ever bought but still i know that's the first clock you've ever bought really for resale correct yes huh wow i just don't usually baby's, buy clocks. baby's first clock yeah so it's um it's it's made in australia it's tiny it's it's you know it's pretty small but it's made yeah, in I australia like i have to put a battery in it to make sure it works but it looks like it's one two three for arts australian made crafts it's a little koala and um it was only 99 cents so i figured i'd take a and see apparently this is our australia show since i just did the australian sweat <laughs> yeah so it was handmade and it was only 99 cents so i don't know what it's gonna sell for like i quickly looked up this brand and i couldn't find anything so i might be able to kind of command my own price it's tiny so i'm thinking maybe 25 to 30 dollars i don't know what do you think jason yeah i like it i mean i definitely look up the brand but yeah and what you want to do is mm -hmm. uh the second hand's a little crooked you want to straighten that out a smidge but don't break yep. it yep yep and you want a quick video of it actually ticking yep no i will do that i have to put a battery in it, it takes a one double a battery and i will yep but i like it yeah but i mean i put it up for like i don't know 30 bucks without even checking the brand i'd put that for 30 bucks that's what uh, i'm thinking and i did briefly check the brand i couldn't find anything so i think it's just one of those like handmade obscure companies you know like that or or local craftsmen well like, remember what i said have a good rolodex of friends you drop a little note to our good friend helen midler and say that's hey, right so that's right. I could ask. Yes, I'm sure. Helen. Because, you know, I, I like Australian red licorice. And so I had an Australian friend hanging out with me for a couple of days in L.A. last year. And we went to a candy shop and I go, do you guys eat this all the time? And she goes, I don't know what the hell that is. So even when, <laughs> when things are called Australian, they're maybe not really Australian. <laughs> right. That's funny. Um, so I tease the, these shoes. Um, and, the, and these are actually... Uh, Mimi or Mimi, I can't say it pro properly, but it's M I U M I U, and these are a size ten and a half in U.S. They're thirty nine and a half, and they are Prada shoes. So, oh nice. Yeah, they're Prada, so they will do extremely well. This is always on my bolo list. These are authentic, a hundred percent authentic. They are faked, um, but these should. I I pro I'm going to put them up for probably about a um, hundred bucks. They do have some wear to the heels, so that's why I'm not going to put them up for higher than that, but I'll probably put them up for about 100 with best offer. And then I have um, some. All right, so I've got this. Now, these, this brand, if you look it up, is actually doing really well. It's Sephora, it's Sephora which is a cosmetic company, and it's uh, by Isaac, I-Z-A-K, who is a designer, um, artist, slash artist, and here is the little there's a cute oh, little cute. yeah but these these are actually selling very well this this line is selling really well so i'm not sure how much i can price this but i might be able to get like 25 bucks for this little case so um yeah so and i paid 2.99 and then here's my dollar cds this one is selling for 10 to 15 dollars i paid a dollar i don't know who it is i don't care 
Chris Tomlin. Do you know that? I, I don't know Chris. I'm guessing. I am going to guess country. I, I don't um, know. Probably, that. yeah. But um, And then I have this one is also selling for about $15. It's Eric Anderson. It's also brand new. And I don't know who that is either. Yeah, he's country. Okay, well. Country! Somebody must have dropped off their country stuff. And Then I have this awesome thing. This is, um, and I know that we have horse people who are going to love this. So this is a kind of like a shawl kind of um, captain thing. And it's vintage 70s and it's horses. So. It's polo. Hmm? It's polo. Polo. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Playing polo. Yes, you're right. But it's horses. So it's not just like horses. No, no. It's, it's polo. It's, it's, yeah, you're right. Okay. So, but it's really cute. So. Hmm. Chris Tomlin's a Christian artist. I did not know him. There you go. Okay. Boom. Well, See someone in our, in our audience. Boom. Just like that. No. Yep. And there is, and he has a following. So, um, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get. Stuff. Okay. So this is a BBC um, series, Planet Earth. And new, because mine is brand new, it'll sell for about $20, and I paid a dollar for it. So Great. If you've never seen it, it's really good. It'll blow oh, your Oh, you've mind. seen it before? It's good? Yeah, I've seen the whole series. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, the, the, the work they do to film nature in nature, you know, in its natural habitat, the, the angles they get, the locations they get, you know, you, you're watching all this stuff, and you forget mm -hmm. there's a dude with a camera hunkered down behind this herd of wildebeest about to get trampled but he's getting the shot <clears throat> okay so i have uh these pants are size 16 but they're vintage 16. these are straight up 70s like look at this new with tags look at the tags on these things wow look at all the tags. i know <laughs> it's christian field a, they have oh a there's a punch tags. tag so yeah they're 70s um, USA polyester fabric, Daycron, today's Daycron polyester that was big in the 70s. And look at these things, they're wonderful. Yeah, they're just pretty, well, pretty sweet. Yeah, so um, they were, oh, they're itchy. They were $4.99. So. <laughs> oh, they're itchy. Yeah, they're itchy. And um, do you want to turn it back to you? And then I'll just do yep. my last few at the end. Okay. Yeah. Because uh, you were talking about media. Like I said, when you find one, when you find two, when you find three, keep on looking. Some poor husband lost all his Rolling Stone CDs at the Savers in Henderson the other day. So I was happy to pick them all up, plus a little Van Halen action. They were all buck fifty. And like I've told you many times in the past, make friends with your thrift store uh, employees because some things they can't put out. But if you happen to be there, they can buy them. And actually, Nadine and I were on the phone uh, last week. And I'm not quiet. I'm quite loud. And so the one employee who puts out media and books and stuff saw, uh, heard me, heard me. And she walked over and was like, you want this? I said, yeah, absolutely. So it was two bucks and it sells for like $15. It's not a big seller, but it's sealed and it's easy to ship, easy to list. It'll be in the media database in eBay. So pfft, very super duper easy. And then we were at a Goodwill looking for a pair of pants for a party we were going to. And the fresh cart had come out. And again, something we tell you all the time. When you see fresh goods, you throw your hands up in the air and scream, ah, good, new stuff. And you run over. So it was quite a collection of records. So I'm going to go through them real quick because there's some good things here. Uh, Stanley Black. This will not mean anything to really most of you, but he is definitely works into the Tiki Bar lounge music aesthetic. And this is an import vinyl. And you can tell import vinyl because import cardboard is a lot different feel than domestic cardboard. It's got a high gloss finish to it where domestic is very much more rough. Uh, not a big seller, but uh, I'll probably listen to it. This is a big seller. This is Leonard Nimoy, Outer Space, Inner Mind. It is a two record set. And here's your little bonus tip. When you sell records and you have a record like this, this is called a gatefold, G-A-T-E-F-O-L-D. So make sure you put gatefold in your title. Mm, this is like a $35 record right here. Cool. Uh, this Dr. Seuss Cat in the Hat's about 12 bucks. Uh, I paid $1.99. Uh, it's in great shape. The vinyl itself has never been played. I always hunt for soundtracks. <clears throat> this soundtrack does quite well on vinyl. Back to the Future, everyone knows it. Uh, it sells for about 20 bucks on record. This one, um, had it been opened, I wouldn't have bought it, but because it's sealed, you can always get that, that bump up uh, on sealed stuff. This is called Gold Rush uh, 16. 
It is the official recording of the exciting, explosive young San Francisco 49ers as they battle for the NFL championship and the 1982 Super Bowl. Not thrilling at all in terms of listening to it. I was it, just going to say, ooh, that sounds very exciting. So that, yeah. that was sarcasm. Because <laughs> hot on the heels of that is the Breakin' soundtrack. Please tell me you've seen Breakin'. Um, no, I've never heard of it. Oh, Sorry. Ain't no stopping us now. No. No stop. No, no. No one does it better. Nope. I saw Breakin' no less than a thousand times. Okay, I've seen it no less than uh, a thousand times. And then, you know, I, I talked about Hawaiian and Tiki records in my webinar. This is from the Polynesian Cultural Center in Hawaii. If you if you go to Honolulu or you oh, go to Oahu, I've been there. Yep. Yes. Oh, I've been there. Hey. Yeah. So this was a souvenir to take home. I have never seen this before. I have a huge Hawaiian record collection. I had never seen this before, so I was happy to pick it up. And these were all together. Keep in mind, these were all together. This is a crazy little collection of records. This Lone Ranger record sells for like thirty bucks. And it is open, but it still has the cellophane, and the, the vinyl is in mint shape. <clears throat> How about a Fox and the Hound picture disc? This is the actual vinyl. It's called uh, Picture Disc. One of my all-time favorite Disney movies. They sold a lot of these, so it's not a you know it's not like a hundred dollar mm -hmm. record, but I'll get like twenty bucks for it, and it was two dollars. Oh uh, yeah, Thrift Skills Breaking Two Electric Boogaloo with uh, with a very young Ice T rapping in Breaking Two. <clears throat> And last but not least, I talked about in the webinar, I've talked about it uh, in the group. There are two uses for um, vinyl records. Music, duh, listening to, and art. The, the cover is a little beat. I think the vinyl's a little beat, but my wife has a pirate bathroom, and I have never seen this. This is an epic, epic cover. Oh, wow. Drunk pirate, naked girl, treasure chest. Okay, then. <laughs> God. Now, if this was in good shape, because of this art, this record sells in the neighborhood of like 30 to 50 bucks, I'm going to frame and hang it up. If I didn't want this, I would still frame it so you wouldn't see all this junk and shit. And I would still sell it for like $20, $25. But this is going up in Stacy's bathroom. Uh, 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 uh. Always check the plush section, even for cool plush mm -hmm. vinyl of Jack Skellington. This was a dollar. Oh, no, this was 75 cents. I don't think they knew what it was. Oh, uh, wow. It's not a huge seller. I'm going to get like 15 bucks for it, but it's very thin and easy to ship. Uh, didn't know what this was, but I figured I'd give it a whirl until I got home. The goddamn Gallows, it ended up being a band, and I can't find their hats selling anywhere. I can find like their T-shirts and their records and their mm -hmm. CDs and stuff. So this was probably at their merch table at their concert, yeah. and I'm going to put it up for 35 bucks. I spent $2 on it. Cool. I teased this purse last night. I said, you got to keep your eyes open for the brand. Mm -hmm. And the brand is Lux DeVille. Oh, okay. Huge, 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 huge in the hot rod scene, the tiki scene, the rockabilly scene. And look at the feet. Yep. The feet are bitching on this. Yep. I've, found, I've seen a couple of those purses actually in the. Yep. So and how much will of, that sell for, do you think? Uh, that one, I got to clean the dog. I do a yeah. little bit of work. I got to keep it out, out of Stacy's hands, and I'll probably get about 30 bucks for that. Okay. And then uh, uh, so, uh, I found this here, Juku Lover's mm -hmm. Purse. And it was pretty cool. It's pretty cool, oh. pretty sweet. And uh, not, you know, not a huge return, uh, probably 20, 22 to 25 bucks, but it's very small. There's nothing hard in it, so it'll be easy to ship. I will ship it a little nicer than that. Is that the Gwen and, Stefani uh, brand? I, I, I'm. Yes, that is a good yeah. Gwen Stefani yeah. brand. And yeah, I'm from right. Ohio, and we do have a flagpole out front of our house. So this fall, I'm putting up my brand new, just thrifted Ohio State yeah. Buckeyes flag. <laughs> Wee. And how about this, Nay? A vintage Chevrolet Corvette, Chevrolet Corvette hat. That's awesome. I despise Corvettes, but I think that's cool. You just hate everything today? What? I do what today. Everything on? that's, yeah, yeah, Corvette, like I would never have a corvette i think they're the uh, most made made in korea cars uh, so ever. made in korea it's got the little string right here definitely old school it's got that yeah. feel too that yeah. it's older yeah Corvettes this was are not um, cool. i did pay but, five bucks for this which is quite a bit for a ball cap but i figured i'll make a, a return on that cool and then last thing before we get to the tiki we're going to end on tiki's i talked about a game i showed you a game piece last night and i said uh 
does anyone know what this is from? Uh, now I just showed it, but this is the game piece I showed last mm -hmm. night. This is one of the earliest games I remember playing. My folks had it. They taught me it, and I loved it. And every single version of this game, and it's still made, every single version still sells. So it's, it's called Stratego. It's about, uh, about battle and war, and you're just trying to move your, your, your men and your militia and your, mili your bombs and stuff into place to you know, beat your opponent. But if you look up uh, Stratego, uh, now, there's a couple versions that sell like 50 to 100, but the most of them are 25 to 35 and, and this is like a $25 version but mm -hmm. it was only uh 275 oh. and it's they sell quick if you look at strategos and solds there's a ton of solds this is a very mm -hmm. popular game so keep your like yeah bobby gardner's like oh i love that game so keep it's your now. eyes peeled for a stratego yeah any okay. now it is easy on this version now the early ones the little pawns in there are wood oh. that tells you how early it is these are plastic but the good thing about this version to see if it's all here because look they're all in this little these little oops, okay now it's falling down but they're just sitting on these little rows so if there's no empty space in the row guess what all the pieces are here right so you know a lot of games they like monopoly you would have to sit there and count and oh yeah out you gotta go through everything while. and yeah this takes two seconds cool uh -huh. and then all it has is the pieces the board and instructions okay, and I'll that have to look for that game. yeah so good game always buy it always sell it uh, Steve wants to know if they sell or not complete. Probably not on this game because it's kind of like chess. It's very much like chess. How would you, you know, sell a chess board that you're missing a pawn and a rook? You just wouldn't. So on this game, like if you were missing a couple hundreds from Monopoly, yeah, you could get by. Yeah. But if you're missing Park Place, you can't, you know, so it's kind of dependent on the game and what it is. All right, now you show what you got, and then I'm going to finish with uh, some tiki stuff here. Sure. I've got some pretty bras that – um. Ooh, yeah, one ninety nine. This is really pretty. It's a thirty six D. So, yes, kind of lacy and pretty. And then yeah, um, very pretty. I've got this one that's new with tags. It's a Warner. It's got it's it's got a twenty three dollar price tag on it. So it's not like, but I paid a dollar ninety nine for it. So, um, and it's like kind of a sports bra style. So I think this will. Um, I think I actually might take the original price off and just put it out for like twenty four ninety nine. Cause that's a good it's a good brand so and then i found i'll save the best for last um this yeah. is from my wonderful friend shari who watches our show who sent me those awesome um those awesome golden girls dolls and she also sent me some fabric there's some cute monkey fabric this is flannel it's cotton flannel fabric and she sent some uh, other monkey fabric. This is also cotton flannel. It says love is in the air. It's adorable. Love is in the air. And this is vintage. This is the cutest fabric ever. It's, um, I have to kind of open this up for you to see. It looks like it's got Rick Rack on it, but it's actually, um, all, Rick, Rack. Rick Rack is like that zigzag stuff, but it's actually all in the fabric. So it's, it's a big, it's, it's about a yard, but it's, it's like a panel. Can you see the, very cute. Yeah, Very, really uh, cute. So it's definitely vintage, probably 70s, and I will, uh, it should do pretty well. It's just so cute. So, and then I also have, she sent me this. This is another panel, and it's to make a Bi Bible school hand puppets. <laughs> so here you go. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. So there's something I've never seen. Bible school hand puppet. Yeah. Fabric. So I will, and this is one panel, so you can make your set of Bible school hand puppets. And uh, there you go. so that should, someone will definitely want to make their Bible school hand puppets, I would think. And let's see, this is a, another Anthro brand. It's called Tool and it's just a kind of frilly summery shirt, nothing exciting, but it should go for at least $19.99. And it was half off. I paid a dollar for it. So. Or dollar fifty, I guess. And then this is the last thing that I'm going to show. And this go this would go with our good, rad, and ugly segment very well. <laughs> this is actually <laughs> oh, yeah. a this is actually a men's shirt, believe it or not. And the tag um, it's seventies and it's got a sixteen and a half collar. It's hundred percent nylon. It's a size large. And here is <clears throat> the print on it turn it around and kind of do a 
What is that? I'm not even quite sure. It's like some kind of florally yeah, thing, and there's like there's like people in like see there's 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 people on there. They're not quite sure what they're huh. doing. But yeah, you're right. That is definitely the good, the round, the ugly. Oh yeah, this is crazy. I mean, the whole print on the shirt is just nuts. And it's like, yeah, there's all sorts of stuff going on in this shirt. I don't know what they're, oh, here's some more people. They're kind of like sitting on mats together. And I don't know, I'm not quite, it almost looks like there's an Asian flair to it, but I'm, I'm not quite sure. And the colors are crazy because they're like bright pink and blue and beige. And so. Well, I like it. Yeah. If it was my size, I'd wear it. <laughs> you probably would, yeah. So that's that's my best find, I think. And I think I paid two ninety nine for that. And I don't think I will find another one like it. So I'm gonna set my price on that one. And it it's a, it's a large, so sixteen and a half collar. So I don't know, Jason. I I think I could probably get at least fifty for it. What do you think? Yeah, probably. Mm -hmm. Probably I like it. Thank you. All right. So I'm going to finish on Tiki stuff. Now, those of you who took the webinar the first time, thank you. I hope you liked it. If you did not take the webinar, I'm doing an encore presentation on Monday, June 5th. All I got to do is go to www.ecomclasses.com to get signed up. It is only $10, and I'm going to teach you everything you need to know to get started on finding Tiki in your neck of the woods. Now, I'm telling you all that because I'm going to show you what I found. So let me start with what I found locally. People say, I can't find Tiki. Okay, well, if you learn what Tiki is, because Tiki isn't always just Tiki itself, for instance, Nadine, this is a Tiki. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay? Found it sitting at the thrift store, so I picked it up. This also works into Tiki, but you don't know what that is. No, I don't. Looks like a bust. That is a, uh, it is a bust by an artist named Frank Sherman, and he did all these cool busts out of black uh, lava rock. And then he always had white usually in the hair. And I have a whole collection of them downstairs. So this was sitting at Savers one day, sitting next to this. So mm -hmm. picked up so these the tiki things. Lava Rock is the key that ties it in? Yes. Okay. And then Sabrina was asking about the green cloth on here. I said, hey, don't jump ahead. But here's a little sarong for getting out of the pool. Uh, mm. Looks, looks uh, Hawaiian-ish, but it's Tahitian, actually. Oh, Tahiti wow. Or so it's so it's a little mm -hmm. wrong to wrong tie around the waist, so but it definitely cute. works. Yeah, it definitely works into the whole yeah. tiki aesthetic. I have a few of those from Hawaii. Did but I, yeah, I, I can't remember. Did I show this? Uh, no, I don't think so. so. Uh, this is a man of the Sandwich Islands, which turned into Hawaii for those of you who know your history. Mm -hmm. And this this uh, the outline. This is actual tapa cloth, real made in somewhere in Polynesia, probably Hawaii tapa mm -hmm. cloth. And uh, this sat at the thrift store for so long, it ended up on half, it was, silver was the half off color that week. So it's five bucks. I don't know where it was for five weeks because I never saw it. I would have paid 10 bucks for it. It is so cool. <clears throat> oh, it's got an offer. It is so cool that I would have picked this up anyway. This, this, this looks very good in a... Uh, in a tiki bar Hawaiian house. And I just read the back and I'll read it to you. I didn't even see this before. Genuine Polynesian tapa handmade mm -hmm. in Hawaii talk trading company. So this oh. could easily be sold, but of course it's staying in here again, something that you wouldn't think of like tiki, but it was in the picture section. Very cool. Uh, tiki in Kansas is rare, but guess what? I keep selling tiki mugs and guess where they're going to Kansas. So someone in Kansas loves tiki. Uh, now, T-shirts. T-shirts, there's plenty of tiki-ness in T-shirts, too. Here is the state abbreviation of Hawaii in the Polynesian tattoo-like look with the Hawaiian Islands. This is my size, so guess what, Nadine? I'm just keeping it. Mm, I would, too. But there's also T-shirts for tiki bars, and this tiki bar is no longer in existence. So this would actually sell quite well. This is the Conga Lounge, which was up in Oakland. I've had uh, a few cocktails there. And uh, it wasn't wasn't the best tiki bar, but it wasn't the worst. But I couldn't believe when I found this, it looks unworn. Again, it's in my side, so it's probably not leaving. But mm -hmm. if I were, were to sell this now that it's out of business, I could probably get $40 for this t-shirt. Was that from Savers, too? Yeah. Wow. Now, wow, Vera just said, haven't seen much tiki here in Northeast Ohio. My mother would beg to differ. She finds tiki all the time. There is <clears throat> actually a ton of tiki in Northeast Ohio. You gotta just know what to look for. And then I'm assuming you know where this is. 
Yes, because I've been there, Turtle Bay. I stayed at Turtle Bay. Yeah, so the North Shore is the North Shore of Hawaii where mm -hmm. all the big surf happens. Yep. When I saw this on the bottom shelf of Savers, I thought it was going to be one of them thin tin signs like you buy at a kiosk in the mall. Hell no. This sucker is heavy <laughs> duty, like a real street sign. So when I was this at the North Shore, they were filming some TV show called Lost that I had never heard of. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, and, she said some TV show called, like, like one of the most yeah, amazing shows. Yeah, so they were anyway. filming it, and I was all bummed because I was doing a horseback ride. We were doing a horseback ride that day, and our horseback ride was cut short because of the filming, but I got to actually see the filming happening, but um, I was like, I don't Okay, know. okay, so then I got a question for yeah, you. Yeah. Curiosity, you wouldn't ever want to watch what you saw filmed in the show? Nah. I love when I see stuff being filmed in Vegas, and then I watch it to see how it looks, you know, because you yeah. see it being filmed. Not that exciting. It just wasn't that exciting to me. But anyway, but I did get to see some show called Lost filmed on the North Shore of Hawaii. So that's my story. All right. So Vera said she's going to watch the next Tiki show and learn. All right. www.ecom class is only 10 bucks. Now, here's the Big Mac Daddy. And, and we're going to talk about this app. On Sunday's episode of Selling Past Your Expiration, it being thrifty or 50 with me and my mom. It's going to be on at 11, um, uh, 10 a.m. here, 1 p.m. on the East Coast. <clears throat> I saw a friend saw an ad on Offer Up that I didn't see. It was for a garage sale of Tiki mugs. So I went the day before the mm -hmm. garage sale and bought all the Tiki mugs. And here they are. This is my bar at home. It's a little tricky to tell, but there's four rows. So if you see the blue, the yellow, and the purple in the front row on the left, then there's a row of short mugs behind it, and then a more a row a row of taller mugs behind that, and then the upper mugs. So that is one picture. That is another picture of my other side of my bar, and then here is the corner of the bar marrying the two together. Mm -hmm. Seventy-seven tiki mugs, some pepper, a couple of salt and pepper shakers, some matchbooks, some swizzles, some other little extra things. But there were seventy-seven tiki mugs. Wow. And I paid 540 bucks, so about $9, $8 a mug. And some of them are worth about $7, $8. But some of them, like the Nautilus here from Trader Sam's in Disney World, this big honking tiki bowl, mm -hmm. this will sell for 100 bucks. So in one mug, I will get back one-fifth of my investment, just in one mug. So will you lot the lower-end mugs together and recoup that way? Yeah, I will lot the lower end ones together. And I want to address the uh, chat real quick. Steve uh, Steve uh, Wiegers said, I see that Tiki Cat just opened in Kansas City. Yeah. Now, if you go to that bar, there's this display shelf of Tiki mugs. The bottom two rows were all purchased from me. So, yes, there is Tiki everywhere. You just got to look, except for North Dakota. Our peeps in North Dakota, I'm sorry, there ain't nothing there. But there's Tiki <laughs> in Idaho. There's Tiki in Montana. There's the Tiki Dakotas, in Philly. There's Tiki in Philly. The mm -hmm. Dakotas got the short end of the stick. Now, the other mug <clears throat> I wanted to profile for you. Now, this is not from that collection. This is one from my personal collection. This is from a bar called Latitude 20. It's a bonus bolo for those of you watching right now. Anything Latitude 20 uh, from Torrance, California, is uh, you should pick up. But the way they made these mugs back in the day was they would fire the glaze, and then they would do what's called cold, paint, cold painting, like the red mm -hmm. over top. So this mug would be done, and then they would paint it. This skirt should be all red. Mm-hmm. Problem is, throw in the dishwasher, <clears throat> scrub it hard in the sink, bye-bye red. Yeah. Well, here's how the mug should look. I've never seen one this pristine. Oh, wow. Ever. That's awesome. The board, her skirt. Now, it looks, and this is kind of something I teach in the webinar, it looks like the same mug. Oh, but this one's from someplace different. And that mm -hmm. changes the price. So, this, this is one of the mugs I'm keeping from that collection. This is one of the best mugs in the collection to flip and sell. Cool. Yes, there is Tiki in Canada. There's a place called, um, oh, crap. Oh, gosh. Shameful, the Shameful Tiki. It's in Vancouver, and I think there's one in Toronto, okay. too. So, <clears throat> uh, Yeah, there's a, uh, Sabrina said there's a Tiki bar in Bakersfield, California. Yes, there is. So there is Tiki. When Bakersfield, California gets a Tiki bar, there is Tiki everywhere. So I found these mugs at a garage sale in Vegas, just a normal garage sale. They had normal other stuff, mm -hmm. but it was a eBay seller who also was a collector and he was downsizing and moving to California. So I was happy to pick up this collection for the price I paid. And I'm already selling a ton of these mugs. 
So I would love for you. Uh, yeah, Louis, somebody's asking Louisiana. Yeah, there used to be a great tiki bar in Pontchartrain right outside of New Orleans. So, uh, yeah, there is. I pick up tiki from New Orleans all the time. Plus, my buddy, Beach Bumberry, has one of the best tiki bars in the world in New Orleans. Tune into my tiki webinar, and I'll tell you all about it. So, March, March, where'd March come from, Nay? June 5th, <laughs> <laughs> Encore presentation, www.ecomclasses.com. It's only 10 bucks. I'm going to fill your head with all the tiki you need to know to get going. It's only 10 bucks. Webinar lasts an hour, and then I will answer afterwards and i'm doing i'm doing it live again because a lot of people missed it and a lot of people want to get it and a lot of people need it a lot of people are posting things that are tiki today in our social media share thread that ain't tiki <clears throat> so i'm going to teach you about that so that's our haul thank you everyone for yes, tuning thank you in uh like i said tune in sunday for thrifty um selling past your expiration date <laughs> being thrifty over 50 with my yep. mom and i and one o'clock on the East Coast, 10 a.m. on the West Coast. Mm -hmm. We're gonna be talking about the app Offer Up. If you've not used it, oh, what we're gonna cool. do is we're gonna, we're gonna get mom to download it. So we're gonna see how mom does download an app without me standing over her shoulder, and I'll show mm -hmm. you how to use it to find and good uh, stuff. Offer Up is one of our wonderful sponsors of Thrifty Business. So no, that's free up, you goober. Oh, I'm sorry. I thought you said never mind. <laughs> Nate's been hitting the rum a little early today. I'm like, wait a minute, we got to offer up. It's a sponsor. Can I, can, I, can, can I just blame it on cancer and brain? Free sure, up, offer. Absolutely. Okay. I was thinking you were talking about free up. Yeah. No, you're talking about offer up. Totally different thing. Okay. Yeah. Um, so, so, Nadine, apparently you need to tune in Sunday to find out how to use offer up. Apparently. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then next week, we're, I don't know if we're going to be doing the next week or the following week, I have my surgery. So, I don't think we'll be doing a show that my week. My mom pointed out the problem. Abs playoff uh, championship starts on Thursdays. So we need to talk about next week. Oh boy! Well, we might we, have to alter our show by a day or so. Okay. Well, we are going to. We're hoping to do something exciting because it will be June fourth is actually our two year anniversary. Yeah, so, two. We've been doing this for two years. Yeah, our two year anniversary. How I'm exciting! Not, I'm not sick of you yet. I'm not sick. Well, I'm not quite. Most, most days, I'm not sick of you, but. <laughs> yeah. See, see, see. <laughs> I'm kidding. All right, let's get out of here. Okay. But yeah, stay, stay yeah. tuned for our announcement. We'll figure out when we can do the show. Yeah, we'll have and another uh, show next week, and we'll be do we will be doing something upcoming for our two year anniversary. So. All right. So everybody, have a great day. Bye. Have a great oh, have a great holiday weekend oh, and. Yeah. Uh, for those of you who, who fought in any of the armed forces and, and kept our, our country free, I, I salute you and I thank you. And remember to make sure that's the reason uh, for the day on Monday. Keep that in mind. So big ups to my dad. Thanks, dad. My dad Bye, was guys. also in, in the service. So, so cool. big ups to Bolter. Yeah. All right. See everybody. <laughs>